1st of August, it's a Labour Day weekend and it looks like fall's already come here uh, to show you a great shot of the harbour. Really kind of windy. Uh, it's trying its damnedest to rain by those big clouds over there. Um, but I thought, because I'm off today, I'm going to go for a little bit of a hike. I'm going looking for stones and a particular sort of stone um, and it's got holes in it the one thing about Sunny Kiliak is a lot of the stones here are some of the oldest in the world so it's kind of a geologist's paradise and I'll show you what I mean later on let's get across the stream Hoping I could get over there. There we go. I think when I was younger, I could just bounce over these things. This stuff's quite interesting. This white stuff. It's very silky, very uh, almost like cotton, cotton wool, that kind of stuff. Can actually the locals can make a wool from this so I'm told or some sort of cloth but equally you could put it in oil burners and it'll serve as a wick it's kind of neat isn't it stick that in my pocket so the rocks here are really quite uh, Now I'm not a geologist, but it's always found something I fancy doing is studying geology. Find out how these do this. Uh, looks like they're going up that way as though they're being pushed up diagonally. Yeah. The colour is like a gra I don't know what it is, but the colour reflects the sunlight. So it'll uh, change colours as the sun changes. So these particular rocks I'm trying to find um, are moors, I think they're called. <laughs> and I found one, I've got it in my living room and hopefully I can find some more. But this is how they start out. With these uh, kind of circles. And what they do is they kind of ground out by ice and water. So that would become a hole, then it'd have all kinds of channels and stuff off of it. And the rock ends up looking like it's being carved. Very pretty. So here's another one of these stones even more pronounced kind of get what I'm looking for. They were saying on the um, post that I read about, about these special stones is that you can only find them here, uh, collections of them on San Achilliac, but with the last ice, ice age they were um, they was, they kind of washed everywhere. So they're washed across and you find them in you find them in odd places across North America, uh, but primarily they're here. So hopefully I might be able to find one. Also today I've got my friend Nadia. Remember Nadia? Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, who I met at Churchill or Quebec somewhere or other. Anyway, um, she's leaving shortly and she wants some stones. So another part of today is to try and find us something special. Um, she cooked us all a really nice meal the other night. So what better gift than to find her a good stone. <laughs> then I found this, this rock here talking about uh, shining rocks. 
This one's kind of pink and shining, just absolutely lovely. That's going in my collection. So one thing being here in Santa Kiliak, um, I love rocks. I collect them all over the uh, from all over the world, and but they're my kind of souvenirs because I always find that. Um, taking a piece a rock home is taking a piece of that area's history home so at home i've got um, a collection that spans from greece to the middle east to southeast asia australia everywhere i've been i pick up um, i pick up a rock the water's nice and clear <laughs> back in the wind you can see how the uh, See how the ice is tearing up the rock? Here, look. Water gets in there, then it expands. It literally just moves it out. So the erosion, the ice and the uh, water is just eroding the rock. Bay. I have a walk to that rock at the top, which is a hell of it. Um, looks like there's some geese. Struggling to fly into this wind. I think they want to go over there, but they're getting blown over there. <laughs> like sand. 